This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME in Chicago with your livestock roundup. And we're seeing the cattle market give up a little bit of ground, but it isn't anything to get too concerned about. We've seen a nice rally in this market here over the past couple sessions for that April live cattle contract pressing up against contract highs. We've seen that resistance staying intact uh, ahead of tomorrow's session, 129.60 to about 130, that psychologically significant level. And are really using this pullback as a little bit of a buying opportunity. There's a lot of support near 127.25. This is trend line support from those November lows. And so long as the bulls can uh, sustain price action above this level, I think they remain in control. If you look back to November, the market has been kind of stair stepping higher over the last three months. So that is technically constructive and keeps the bulls in the driver's seat. Now, as far as the fundamentals going forward, obviously we've got that cattle on feed report tomorrow, waiting on cash to develop. And we've got uh, some, some exports out in the morning as well. So something to keep an eye on there. Now, moving over to the feeder cattle market, not as much excitement. We've been kind of stuck in a two-month range here, basically 142 uh, to 145 for that March contract, give or take. We're going to continue to play that range uh, regardless of how boring it may be. There's opportunity in a sideways market until we get a, a breakdown or a breakout from the technical sp perspective. Now, wrapping things up with the lean hog market, lean hogs kind of went through a cleansing phase earlier in the week. We tested that limit down move, which was uh, forced liquidation, but that was met by some heavy buying that came into the market and seeing that news from China early this morning really helped prop things up. We need to see this momentum continue to hold as we look towards the back half uh, of tomorrow's session into the weekend. If we can close on a positive note, I think that puts us in a good spot going into next week's trade. But again, we want to see some follow through uh, to feel pretty comfortable about maybe dipping our toes in on the long side and perhaps maybe look at some call options, something that gives you good exposure with limited risk. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.